All right, Adrian. Well, Central Alabama's largest hospital is noticing a shift in the patients being treated for COVID-19. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough takes a look at how COVID hospitalizations are changing in this second year of the pandemic. Doctors and nurses at UAB have been treating COVID-19 patients for well over a year now. At one point, the hospital was overflowing with COVID patients. Finally, in recent weeks, some much needed relief. Well, we've been able to reduce our COVID footprint from having multiple acute care units and multiple ICUs down to just one ICU that's really focused on COVID and one acute care unit that's focused on COVID. Even though doctors at UAB say they're seeing fewer COVID-19 patients overall, they say the ones they are seeing are much younger. You know, before this was very much a disease of those that were older and that had lots of comorbidities. And now we're seeing people that are younger and who on paper we might have thought would not get sick enough to require the hospital. One reason for that may be younger people have not had a chance to get vaccinated yet. At the same time, doctors say young people are less likely to get vaccinated to start with. This is the same, you know, population of folks that, you know, they feel healthy and gen generally they are healthy. And so things like vaccinations just don't seem very important to them or don't seem high priority. Teens 16 and older are now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.